Local for Sports with Sports Director Mason Kern. It's the final day of the high school basketball season and we're cutting down nets at Pinnacle Bank Arena. Twelve teams enter the day. Six come out as newly minted state champions. Regardless though, history is made for every school today. Class C2 has been a bloodbath. Amherst is the top seed and chasing vengeance after losing to Freeman in the state title game a year ago. The Broncos looking for a different result against Lincoln Lutheran this year. Their go-to guy, Tate Hadwiger, is in foul trouble early, so Austin Adelung steps up. Three trades balls in the first quarter builds up a Bronco lead but the Warriors stay in it Ryan Hager with a tough drive and finish Lutheran goes into halftime with a 19-18 lead fast forward to the final seconds of the fourth Amherst needs a bucket down two and Hadwiger delivers spin stops and pops ties it at 41 we go to overtime Hadwiger with the hot hand and he's gone mad the Mad Hatter hits the three to open the extra period Amherst builds a lead but the Warriors come back again Hager with the clutch finish and one sends him to the line with a chance to tie but he he misses at the stripe. Amherst makes their freebies late and wins their first state title in school history. The Broncos beat Lincoln Lutheran 59 to 54 in overtime. I had two great games at the end and I mean it's just an amazing feeling just hitting those shots. I had it going on and I kept it going and I wasn't going to let us lose today. One game on the line, you're you're just going to trust these guys on the court that they're going to do, you know, that they're going to do what they need to do to stay in the game. It was just amazing finally being able to win the state championship after coming short last year and it's just always been our goal to win a state championship. We've all been dreaming about this since we were third graders, you know, and Les Adelong was coaching us and I mean we were that tall. Last year was the Broncos first time making the state final since 1987. They finally get their first title in 2024. The nightcap is in Class D2, which doesn't tip till close to 9 p.m. Shelton, the top seed, playing second-ranked Mayhay. Hayden Farr spins and scores far out. It's a battle between Wolves and Bulldogs early. Shelton relies on their guy, Riley Bombeck. He's a certified bucket and hits the turnaround jumper, trying to will the Bulldogs to history a century in the making. Later, Bombeck up to Ben Myers. That's good for a pair. The Bulldogs win 54-42 to and are state champs for the first time since 1919. We'll have more on them on our Look 4 website. Down in Class D1, where Ainsworth is in the state final for the first time since 2014, Carter Nelson rubbing the genie's lamp for good luck. The Bulldogs bite early. Trey Appel with the corner three. Ainsworth starts on a 7-0 run, but the Eagles respond. Loose ball ends in the surefire hands of Camden Dallinghouse. His three cuts the deficit to two. He scores 15. Nelson shows off the athleticism again today. The emphatic block on one end and throwing it down on the other. Nelson dunks in every game at state, but Ainsworth trails by 10 at half. So to the fourth we go. Bulldogs coming back. Trigan McNally with the step back. Huge shot. Ainsworth back and striking distance distance down three, but the tide turns back in JB's favor. Sloan Pelican pokes the ball loose. Brody Kaler beats everybody to it and hits the and one. That's the backbreaker. He gets a game high 19 to extend the lead to eight and Johnson Brock never gives it up. The Eagles win 52 to 45 and are back to back state champions. Nelson's career ends as a state runner up. Nobody's here for one like themselves. I mean, we were here as a team, we played as a team, we lost as a team. I'm learning from that and I'll definitely be able to grow as a person and we all will off that. We've got so much support around what we do because we do it for the right reasons. Be able to compete and play and, play and just see how f fun they are on the court of, of what, some of the things that they can do. Uh, it, it was really neat to be, to be able to put it on display for the whole state. Here's a look at how all six state championship finals finish. You'll see Class D2 went final as we're going into our show. 54 to 42, the final in Shelton's favor. Bellevue West, though, winners in Class A, 57-48, back-to-back state titles. Omaha Scott wins it by seven as the four seed in Class B. Wahoo, the winner in overtime in Class C1. And if UNK track and field is in nationals, you know we're